Okay, let's see. Do I have everything I need to be a gardener? I have my hat, I have my sunglasses, I have my tomato. <laughs> I'm so excited to use this tomato to plant more tomatoes. I can make as many BLTs as I want. I can make tomato sauce, tomato soup, tomato ice cream. <laughs> so many recipes, I'm so excited. Hey Lana, what you I, got there? Huh, I have a tomato. Ooh. I'm a gardener now, see my hat? That makes me a gardener. I am going to use this tomato to make more tomatoes because um, tomatoes are my favorite fruit. Did you know tomatoes were fruits? Yeah, tomatoes are fruit. It's awesome. How are you going to plant your fruit? Well, I'm glad you asked. Inside this tomato are seeds. You need seeds to plant more tomatoes. So I'm going to put it in here <clears throat> in a pot where it will grow. And then uh, the internet said you need water. So when I'm thirsty, I like to drink Capri Sun. So I'm just going to use this to water my tomato. <laughs> uh, I think you're <laughs> missing something, Lana. Oh, yes, yeah, I remember, light. <clears throat> you need light. I have that, there's an app for that. <laughs> Grow, do it. Uh, Lana, Grow. you're missing a few key things that you need to make a plant actually grow. To make a plant grow properly, you're gonna need good soil, nutrients like sunlight and water, you're gonna need some time, and consistent care. Oh, so, so no, no Capri Sun? No Capri Sun. Oh, okay. Well, um, it sounds like you are the expert and I am not. So, um, why don't you tell me more about this magical growing process? Of course. Mmm, tomatoes. First, let's talk soil. Good soil is needed so a seed can make proper roots. These roots are what feeds the plant and keeps it strong and stable. Roots keep a plant from blowing away in the wind, and they keep the plant healthy. Good soil helps with good roots. A plant needs plenty of water and sun to grow strong. These are the things that help feed our plant. The plant can actually make its own food when it has enough sun and water. So, we need to make sure that it always has access to them both. This next part isn't the most fun. Now we have to wait a bit. Our plant needs some time to soak up all these good nutrients to grow. We have to wait, and there's not always noticeable changes on the outside, but a lot inside is happening. Our plant is growing stronger and getting bigger thanks to those good roots. Our last part is caring for our plant. How do we do that? By continuing to give it sun and water and caring for its soil. We can do this by weeding around our plant, keeping the bugs away, and checking on it regularly. If we do all of this, we're sure to have some healthy fruit at the end, or flowers, or vegetables, or whatever kind of plant it ends up being. Thanks for sharing, Alyssa. Wow, okay, we are outside because it is a great day. And you know, uh, when you were talking about how plants need specific things to grow, it actually got me thinking about how God takes care of us. So, to illustrate this, I have brought a tomato plant here. His name is Jerry. You don't need to name the plant. His name is Jerry. And um, what we're gonna do here is I am going to transfer Jerry into this uh, slightly bigger pot here. Now, um, to begin this illustration, let's talk about soil. So, this soil kind of reminds me of God. It's really important for the plant to be planted in this soil to grow. It's stable and strong and helps the plant grow stable and strong. Now, uh, let's take a look at what is ugh, in here. Do you see those roots? Pretty cool. So, I'm gonna start putting soil in here all around Jerry. <laughs> so, when we put our roots into God's soil, He gives us everything we need. That's right. After we plant our roots in God, we need to accept His nutrients. Just like Jerry needs water and sunlight, we need to read the Bible and pray to grow. So we have our roots and we have our nutrients, but now it's time to wait a little bit. This might seem hard because we just want to grow up and know everything there is to know, right? I want this tomato plant to suddenly sprout tomatoes, but that's not how it works. There is a waiting period and God uses that time to teach us and to help us grow strong in Him. There may be times that weeds start to grow around this plant and we'll need to pull them out to help it to continue to grow. 
Just the way that this plant needs care, we need care to grow too. God's word and prayer, as well as our friends and family, are there to help us to continue to learn and grow. See, God's love is a lot like growing a plant. Now, when this plant is mature, it is going to grow all kinds of wonderful, tasty tomatoes. Similarly, when we continue to grow, we will also begin to produce fruit in our lives. Now, we're not actually going to produce things like apples and tomatoes on our bodies. That would be strange. Uh, but the Bible does have something to say about this. We produce fruits of the Spirit. Right. Fruit doesn't always mean apples. It means God's love showing in our lives. It's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's Galatians 5, 22 through 23. So these are some of the things that we can produce in our lives when our roots grow strong in God's good soil. Some of these fruits of the Spirit may already be plentiful in your life. And others might still be growing. No matter what age you are, God is always working on these things in our lives. He loves and cares for us. For the next several weeks, we're going to be learning about the fruits of the Spirit. We're going to hear some incredible stories of people from the Bible using love, joy, peace, and the other fruits of the Spirit in these stories. It's going to be great. Okay, so Jerry, why don't you give the H2O kids some challenges? Jerry? Okay. Jerry seems to only speak tomato, but that's okay. We will give the challenges. Challenge number one, memorize Galatians 5, 22 through 23, and think about what the fruits of the Spirit mean. Challenge number two, plant a small plant or a small garden with your family, and take care of it the way God cares for us. So, uh, Jerry, will you uh, say goodbye to everybody watching at home? I'll just assume he gave you all very fond farewells. All right, we'll see them next week. Yep, see you next week. Bye, kids. Peace out. Au revoir. Farewell. Tomato speak for goodbye.